Can you tell if someone has nutritional deficiency just by looking to their eyes? If you have ever wondered what are the clues in our eyes that are the telltale signs of our overall health, this is the video for you. For those who are new to my channel, I'm Dr. Audrey Tai, board certified and fellowship trained cataract and refractive surgeon, ophthalmologist, and cornea specialist. Welcome to my channel, Eye Channel by Eye Surgeon. I'm here to bring you the latest information on eye health and medicine. In today's video, I'll review the most common nutritional deficiencies that can affect our vision and what signs can be seen in your eyes if you are deficient in those nutrients. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my new videos on eye health. Number one, vitamin A deficiency. The most common vitamin deficiency that affects vision is vitamin A deficiency. Vitamin A is an essential nutrient that is important for maintaining healthy vision, particularly in low light conditions. Vitamin A is a fat soluble vitamin that is found naturally in certain foods, such as liver, eggs, dairy products, and colorful fruits and vegetables like carrots, sweet potatoes, and spinach. It can also be taken as a dietary supplement. One of the key functions of vitamin A is to help the retina which is the part of the eye that detects light and sends signals to the brain to function properly. Vitamin A helps to maintain the health of the cells in the retina, which allows us to see in low light conditions. When the body doesn't get enough vitamin A, it can lead to a condition called night blindness, which is characterized by difficulty seeing in low light conditions, such as at dusk or in dim lit rooms. This is because our eyes rely on vitamin A to produce a pigment called rhodopsin, which helps us see in low light conditions. In more severe cases, vitamin A deficiency can lead to a condition called xeroophthalmia, which is characterized by dry eyes, corneal ulcers, and even blindness. This is because vitamin A is also important for maintaining the health of the surface of the eye and preventing damage to the cornea. In severe cases of dry eyes caused by vitamin A deficiency, you can see large, superficial, triangular, foamy yellow or white spots on the white part of the eye called Vitaut spots. While vitamin A is important for maintaining healthy vision, it is also important to note that taking too much vitamin A can be harmful and even toxic. It is recommended to get your daily intake of vitamin A from natural food sources or supplements in appropriate doses, as recommended by a healthcare professional. To learn more about the recommended daily intake of vitamin A to maintain healthy vision and what foods are high in vitamin A, you can watch this video for a more in-depth review on this topic. Number two, the B vitamin family, vitamin B1, thiamine deficiency. Thiamine deficiency can lead to a condition called beriberi, which can affect the eyes and cause nystagmus. Nystagmus is a condition where the eyes move rapidly and uncontrollably from side to side or up and down. In some cases, beriberi can also cause optic neuropathy, which is damage to the optic nerve. The nerve connects our eyes directly to our brain, and that can lead to vision loss. In developing countries, malnutrition is the main source of thiamine deficiency. In developed countries such as the US, thiamine intake is high because of the abundance of enriched fortified and whole grain products. But thiamine deficiency can develop in people with malabsorption of thiamine. For example, people with heavy alcohol consumption with limited food intake or history of gastric surgery. Vitamin B2, riboflavin deficiency. Severe riboflavin deficiency can lead to a condition called angular blepharoconjunctivitis, which is inflammation of the corner of the eyelids resulting in redness and thickening of the eyelid skin. It can also cause whitening or even ulceration of the cornea, the clear windshield of the eye, which can lead to blindness. Vitamin B6, pyridoxine deficiency. Pyridoxine deficiency can trigger a condition called a gyrate atrophy, which is a rare genetic disorder that causes progressive vision loss. The prevalence of gyrate atrophy is estimated to be less than 1 in 100,000 people worldwide. All three vitamin B family deficiencies are rare in developed countries, but it can occur in people who consume large amounts of alcohol or have certain medical conditions that affect the absorption of the nutrient. To learn more about which foods contain the right amount of the essential vitamins to maintain eye health, you can watch these two videos. Number four, vitamin C deficiency. Vitamin C deficiency can lead to a condition called scurvy, which can affect the eyes and cause subconjunctival hemorrhage, which is bleeding in the white part of the eye. Vitamin C deficiency can also increase the risk of early development of cataracts. You can learn more about cataract prevention tips in this video. The prevalence of scurvy is very low in developed countries. 
but it is still a concern in some developing countries. Number five, vitamin E deficiency. Vitamin E is a fat-soluble vitamin which functions as a major antioxidant in our body. Vitamin E is essential for maintaining the health of the cells in our body and combating oxidative stress. This is especially important for maintaining the health of the retina, as the retina contains a high concentration of fatty acids. Vitamin E deficiency can lead to a condition called retinopathy, which is damage to the retina, which is the layer of nerve tissue at the back of the eye, and damage to the retina can lead to vision loss. The prevalence of vitamin E deficiency is not well established, but it is thought to be low in developed countries. Vitamin E and vitamin C have a synergetic effect in our eyes. Studies have found that they work together to protect our eyes from damaging free radical oxidation. The RS2 formula for treatment for macular degeneration contains both vitamin C and vitamin E. E for this reason. You can also check out these two videos for an in-depth review of the most important vitamin for eye health. It is important to note that while vitamin deficiencies that affect vision are relatively rare in developed countries, they can still occur in certain populations or those with medical conditions, such as cirrhosis or a history of gastric bypass surgery. If you are concerned about your vitamin intake or have symptoms of a vitamin deficiency I reviewed in this video, it is best to have a full eye exam with a qualified eye doctor. Let me know in the comments below which vitamin deficiency I reviewed in this video surprised you the most. I hope you'll find this video helpful. If you have learned anything new, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell. Because if you click that subscribe button, you will help give me the opportunity to continue to bring free videos about eye health and eye surgery to the world. Anytime you don't have 10 minutes, you can watch short fun videos about eye care tips on Instagram at Dr. Audrey Tai. And you can also follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn to learn more about my practice. I look forward to connecting with you there. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video.